Hi, it's Josh Keeley with RIB Radio, and this is the continuation of the word Elohim in the Hebrew language. Now let's look at the numeric meaning of the name of our Creator, Elohim. Remember that all these numbers get their meaning from how they are used in scriptures alone. No other source is consulted. And also, keep in mind that each of these Hebrew letters is also a number. Aleph is also the number one. It stands for Deity, Unity, Sufficiency, Independence, the First, Indivisible, and God the Father. Let me remind you again that all of these definitions are based on how the number one is used in sacred scripture and sacred scriptures alone. Lamed is also the number 30. 30 is the blood of Christ, dedication. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 is divine perfection. 10 is ordinal perfection. The meaning is magnified perfection of a divine order marking the right moment. And in summary, it's a blood sacrifice. Hey is also the number five. It means unmerited favor, God's goodness, the penitude, divine strength, the fifth, and finally, grace. Yod is also the number 10. The number 10 is one of four sacred numbers. The number 10 stands for ordinal perfection. Perfection of a divine order, completeness of order, the law and responsibility are among the other meanings of the number 10. Mem is the number 40. It means trials, chastisement but not judgment, the action of grace resulting in renewal, magnified renewal, an extended period of rule or dominion, grace multiplied by renewal, which is 5 times 8, probationary period that results in renewal. So the numeric translation of Elohim, or the word we translate in the English as God, has a theological and a prophetic message. Aleph, God the Father. Lamed, a divine order marking the right moment, a blood sacrifice. Five, hey, grace. Ten, yod, perfection of a divine order, completeness of a sequence of divinely ordered events and ordinal perfection. Mem, 40, action of grace resulting in revival, probationary period that results in renewal. So the summary translation of Elohim, the word we understand as God, is as follows. God the Father will bring about deliverance through his anointed one and by his grace bring about a divinely ordained plan, testing man to show his weakness and then reviving and renewing man by his spirit, creating in him new life and promising him eternal life. In the picture translation of Elohim, we discover that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are creating a home for us here on earth. In the number translation of Elohim, we find the promise of God the Father who is ordaining a sequence of events that will result in God the Son offering a blood sacrifice in order to atone for the sinful rebellion of mankind. And then the Holy Spirit creating a new life in those that receive the Savior and look to the work he did on the cross as the only pathway to the promise that the Son of God is preparing a place for us in heaven. Now you know the conventional meaning of Elohim. He is the supreme creator. Now you know the picture meaning of Elohim. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit creating a temporary home for us on earth. Now you know the number meaning of Elohim. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are all participating in a plan to accomplish your salvation so that you can spend eternity in heaven. You have a part in this majestic work. You have but one thing to do, one work. And what is that work? To repent and believe in the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach. Look to the cross and see your Savior. Call upon his name and live. Now, folks, if this was a blessing to you, you can see more of the word studies down below. You can see a few that we've done recently on Adam and Shalom. And if you want to learn how to do this yourself, which is not difficult, you can get the book. Go to livingwordin3d.com or rockislandbooks.com, and you can get the Living Word in 3D Volume 1. We've uh, got Volume 1, Volume 2, and another one called 50 Amazing Words, where author C.J. Lovick explores 50 of some very precious words that are found in the Old Testament, the Tanakh, and um, just how amazing the revelation is that God's packed into these letters in the Hebrew language. So God bless you. Thanks for listening.